Welcome back, Five Aces. Battle control initialized. Hey, hey, people, Five Aces here. So something miraculous has happened today. The kids are asleep while the sun is still setting outside. Basically, fuck summertime. <laughs> We've had a, a rough patch ever since, as the kiddies are not falling asleep at all. And it uh, just interferes with my open array alone time. But here we are. We finally got ourselves a matchup. And we finally got ourselves some time at our hands. Which I'm going to utilize by straight up diving into RHL yet again. Bring it on, I say. There I say, those two fine gentlemen are about to, um, to employ some cheese tactics against each other. We are going to have a matchup between Mr. Anju who has definitely tried switching it up from his uh, uh, usual incredibly greedy macro style to just trying to uh, throw something at the wall, see what sticks here. He's sending forth six grens, interesting choice. And he's up against Blackhand. Blackhand has had a pretty good track record so far this season, uh, despite uh, losing to all the heavyweights. So, um, and himself uh, having having been a heavyweight previously, or at least someone you would consider a top tier player. Um, against the mid tier players, he's been slaughtering them relentlessly. But uh, the top tier, the top dogs, he has not gotten anything from them. Oh, the engineer has revealed this cheese push. Rip, rip in pepperonis. So he sacrificed an engineering degree and sometime, you know, six years in the university to uh, gain some vital information. But hey, that's just how the cookie crumbles. And as a result, this push is not going to net anything here. It's going to result in an easy wipe. Oh, the kiting from Anju. Look at this. Doesn't help though, because uh, Blackett is very wise to this. It's very well aware of what's happening. And the nades are all missing. You can lead the shots, by the way. That's pretty cool. So this is completely backfired. Failed real hard. Blacken is now ahead on the War Factory timing. Blacken also uh, has not invested uh, like 700 odd credits into a dead weight, which is now literally dead. So he is in a great spot. And Anju, I've got to say, he's run through the season. He's tried lots of things. None of them have worked so far. And he used to be a really fierce player. It just feels like the meta has shifted towards faster games, which doesn't really do him any favors. He is not looking too hot with his macro style and his cheese plays haven't paid off either because people have usually just gotten either lucky or scouted them. Uh, okay, we're up to triple harvester here, triple harvester there, but obviously a little bit of a timing advantage. Uh, there's Anja going for the mobile flag and Black and going for the APC, which is interesting because with this composition, you've lost your engineer. You've lost your main draw for going for an APC, other than just scouting. For scouting, the flag truck is better as long as you micro it well and you retain its health. It's very mobile, it has more line of sight, and it can poke from range, unlike the APC, which is very much all in. Oh no! That is definitely a, a little bit of a push out. And this army is absolutely uh, a force to reckon with. Yikes. Okay, double APC gets revealed. I feel like this is going to be a pretty bad spot for Anju already. Oh no. As soon as the rockets get singled out, oh, oh nice kiting here. Lycan sending back his APC. Basically didn't lose anything, just a few frontline rifles. And... He redeployed his conyard, so I think he's going to snake walk over here to the next base. He's doing a like a Kane's Wrath strategy rather than going for an actual expansion. Yeah, he wants to keep up the pressure. He's just going heavy tanks. Wow. This is a pretty bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. Uh, and she has now fired up the APC forges as well, but he's super far behind in the army count. He's going for a Tesla coil. I'm just curious what that's all about. Tank flank gets revealed, but that's nothing that is gonna is gonna yield him all that much. He's up to triple barracks. How many barracks do we have here? Four barracks, so the production is gonna be online. 
And such a wide front. So many units. Ah, oh, the flag truck gets sacked. This is looking terrible already. And on the way out, a couple of rockets ripe for the picking as well. This is just a disaster around you. I, I feel like I've said those those words a couple times in the previous, um, in the last couple couple of days and weeks. Whenever I casted this, whenever I casted Anju, it was just like, yep, yeah, disastrous early game. Some more disastrous early game. Except that one where he got some super lucky crushes with the APCs. I remember crushing the uh, the APC crushing the five stack and then immediately being sacrificed for no reason at all. Sometimes his unit preservation is kind of questionable. Okay, tank flank gets revealed here yet again, but Blacken is good on the micro. Also, um, Andrew has fortified with the defensive Tesla coil here. But that's not really gonna help him all that much. Okay, the flank is coming in from the infantry. He's trying to connect with the APCs. First one does not connect at all. Second one gets taken out. No! That is just atrocious. All the front lines have crumbled. The Tesla coil is powered off. This is disaster. Angie already losing a harvester, losing his Tesla coil, losing his uh, second harvester. It's a six minute game. Oh, that has gone so south so quickly. Yikes. Angie, my friend. The early game I know wasn't the most stellar, but the hold here, just him not connecting with the APCs and just miss microing them, to be honest. Uh, what you need to do in this case is use Alt move. Uh, alt is force move, so you press down the Alt key and click uh, select your select your APCs, uh, click the Alt key and uh, click on the enemy infantry. That way they're not gonna uh, waste their time shooting their puny MGs shooting their puny machine guns at tanks, and rather they're just going to try and force crush. And Angie apparently didn't do that here. So as a result, maybe he used an attack move or something. As a result, his APCs did not connect onto the body of infantry, and it was disaster. Okay, can he recover in game two? I sure hope so, because this season thus far is looking very, very bleak for Angie. Let's see if he can bring it back. See you in round two. Battle control terminated. Battle control initialized. Alright, this is me again, Five Aces, the caster of disaster, the chronicler of the hopefully not inevitable downfall of, of Anju. Anju picking allies. Oh, he hard force picked allies, Germany no less. And the map is unusual as well, paranoia. A wide open map, but uh, with those barrels in the middle, some tank traps. And this is a rush map, that, that's why I'm saying it's unusual, because Anju tends to typically not cheese all that much. Um, he's tried this season a couple times, unsuccessfully so, but he prefers large maps with, uh, with no rush 15 matches, because he used to go War Factory first into five harvesters into an MCV that was set in stone, no matter the game state. And when he got away with it, it was actually kind of scary because it ramps up really fast if you let it, just let it grow. Okay, nice little, uh, nice little squad hiding behind the wire fence. Again, uh, black and a bit more active out on the map. Angie is going to lose the first rifle here. His first scout is going down, but he has shaved off another scout in return, so the kills are even. Oh, black and going for medics. One medic at least. Ah, oh, the force fire would do wonders here. If only you had perfect intel. Just blowing up those uh, oil drums, those explosive barrels. This is not a good position, by the way. Those um, those two squads are too far apart from each other. They're not covering each other with their weapon range. So if someone goes all in, say, like Blackened with a northern push, he is going to demolish this squad. And he's also going to heal up. So that's not good positioning. Another five stack going up north. Yep, there goes the healing. Super solid from Black, and this medic has actually had some impact. Uh, the early game thus far, though, not too crazy, just a little behind. Also, again, lagging behind in the build queues, Angie, so he is definitely not using his APM as much as he should. Oh, 
that is going to be a bit of an expensive trade-off. Ooh, he's so close to the barrels. Do a barrel roll! And now Black and just has numerical superiority by a large margin. You don't need a math degree. You don't need an algebra. Uh, don't even need an introduction to algebra 1 to figure that one out. That is uh, him being vastly outnumbered. I don't know why he's doing that. Oh! Trying to force fire. Not hitting the NG. Oh, so close. He didn't guess the right cell. I think with a bit more APM he could have uh, actually gotten it. Again, not a good position because those rifles are not presenting a wide front. And he's gonna get overrun. This is gonna be Zerg style. Mm, maybe if he... Maybe if Black and waits or hesitates a little longer. But I think, yeah, it's just waiting for the light tank. He knows that Angie is typically... What? All you needed to do was wait for the light tank here. I don't know what the idea behind this one was here. This was a terrible trade. Ah, uh, Blackhand? You're sending in your rockets. What? He had the keys to the kingdom, and he pawned them away at the pawn shop. Just for no good reason at all, for a zero gain. Ah, uh, rockets are connecting. Oh my lord, disaster here. Actually a wacky early game, but uh, overall it is a disaster for Blackhand. So Angie's in a good spot in game 2, he's got two tanks now. Versus two tanks and a ranger. But uh, the army corps is completely depleted for Blackhand. Oh, he's got medium though. The medium is going to be the kingmaker out on the field. Easy, easy wipe, easy life. Yeah, he can take down the Kolderic, but... The medium is approaching real rapidly. Okay, you need to commit, you need to do something here. Fine, kill the one there, that's, that's okay. And now, just uh, cut your losses, get as much out as possible. Oh, the rockets, the rockets must not die. If he wants to win this game, retain any chance at winning, he must retain the rockets. The medium tanks are so, so important here. Yeah, look at how much damage. Oh, the crushes are insane. Count the crushes, though. Most of the rockets have disappeared. Courtesy of a magic trick by uh, magic trick by Blackhand. Still, this engagement does favor, uh, does favor Blackhand, who has lost his scout now. So, combat tab. Black and has destroyed a lot more. Army graph. Yeah. Correspondingly. So this went about as well as Angie could have expected. But really, Black and losing all of his infantry in the early game was a disaster. You rip Oh no. Oh no. That is rockets without a front line. Do never ever do that. Tanks are not connecting. What are they doing? Angie's tank micro is really off. Like, some magnitudes off where he used to be the past seasons. He still manages to get the cleanup. And that is courtesy of Black and just not having his, uh, his infantry ready anymore. He lost so much infantry in the earlier push. So, where does that leave us? Black and still a hit. The army graph is now evened out. Uh. Anybody's econ flatlining? Not yet. Blacken has two derricks over one, by the way. Corner expansion. Oh no, it is gonna get spotted by three tanks. Not only spotted, but probably taken out as well. Because there are zero defenses. Uh, five harvesters here. Sixth harvester coming online just in time to be pummeled by three mediums. Rip. What about the army engagement? Blacken should have enough. Yeah. Yeah. The tanks are once more out of position, not connecting. Oh. It is so painful. Okay, at least it forces off the MCV for a couple seconds, but complete army wipe. And that should spell the end of the game, because the Harvester is lost, the MCV had to scuttle back, and Angie doesn't have an expansion anymore. Whereas Blackhand is now almost up to two. Oh, it is so rough. It is so, so rough to watch Angie right now. He is being pummeled and bruised. Battered. 
from all cardinal directions. Not a good time for him. Has not found any economical damage either. This, by the way, would be relatively free. Right now there is no defenses. And Blackhead didn't even have any defenses queued. It's just queued one pillbox here. That ain't gonna cut it. Oh, three tanks. Okay, now the classic mistake of the overchase. It's like either you overchase with your entire army and give your opponent time to push in with a deadly army onto the main base, or you forget about those tanks and uh, lose all the harvesters in the back lines. It's uh, the catch 22 of open array. Uh -huh. Army still going after the tanks. Okay, trying to spearhead a little uh, breach, but the defenses should be coming online relatively shortly. Okay, I like what he's doing here. He has closed the gap towards uh, uh, towards the MC, so it can't escape. That is smart. Now he needs to kill the husk as well, because this is right next to a barracks. Um, I'm expecting Blacken to just cancel the rocket soldier and go for a mechanic. Yep, there it is. That is just a simple open array 101. You don't kill the husk, you are screwed. Doesn't get the kill on the harvester either because it's light tanks. And uh, remember, light tanks don't do damage and they don't soak up damage either. They are just there for funsies. Oh, another harvester has been lost to this tank run by, despite half the army being primed onto the tanks. Yeah, chee chee. No, there was no chance at recovery here. Unfortunate. This is just an unfortunate season uh, and an unfortunate turn of events for Angie, who has uh, received the short end of the stick pretty much all season. Blackhand hasn't had a stellar run either, but at least against the mid-tier players, he, he sort of wiped them. And Angie appears to have... Eh, tough to say, but he appears to have declined into mid-tier. He, he used to be struggling, but he always used to be a, a big challenge. Even against the strong players, even if he lost, it used to be a, a struggle to get a point off of him. And uh, yeah, this season has just killed over a couple times. I feel like he needs to step it up. We are going to watch more open array content as it comes. I'm stoked to be casting some more. Until then, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Five aces, out. Battle control terminated.